you need to measure extremely important, as I mentioned earlier. For example, when I put powder inside the bullet, we do it based on grams. Okay, if you remember uh, on this particular example, let me go back and, and show you the components. On the on the nine millimeter, it puts 6.5 grams. Okay, however, when I go purchase the powder, my vendor doesn't sell them in grams. They sell it in 20 pound bags. Okay, so what I do is I created a unit of measure set. I'm gonna click here and edit and show you how that works. I create a unit of measure set where I have gram as my base unit, and then I created other units. I created the pound itself, and the reason why I do that is because sometimes I may wanna count them or adjust them in pounds. Um, and, and 20 pound bag, it's actually how I buy it. Now, where did these 453.59 come from? Okay, so let me show you something. If you actually Google conversion pounds to grams or, or, or something like that, if you Google that, um, in, in the results, you would get uh, a quick uh, Google sort of utility to convert units of measure. So in this point, I can go by length. So if, so if I want to go foot to yard or if I want to go um, volume, if I want to go gallons to quarts, that sort of thing. So in this case, we're going to choose mass here and then we'll choose one pound. So one pound in grams is 453.92 0.592 grams. If I put here 20 pounds, which is actually the size that I buy, we're talking about 9,071.85. That number is extremely important because when I go back into QuickBooks, I have to make sure that that number is here. So let's see, this is, uh, this would be 9,071.85. So I'm going to put here 9,071.85. Okay. So when I go buy the powder, I'm buying them on um, on this many grams, although when they're really selling them to me by the pound. Now, how do I come up with pricing? Pricing is extremely important. I got to take this number here, 9071.85, and I have to divide it by my the cost of my bag. So when I buy these, I buy these for $89, but not per gram. Per I buy that per 20 pound bag. So I have to divide the 89 by the 90. 71.85 and then I get essentially what's my cost per gram on my unit. This stuff is extremely important. I, I can't emphasize enough how many people make mistakes um, in, in this part because they don't do the conversions correctly and then their components, they all go out of whack. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Okay, so that was an example on multiple units of measure.